Hey everybody, here with another episode of Uncleared Levels in Mario Maker 2. I feel like it's been a while since I've done these, been practicing for that race, but uh, here we go. As of this recording, there are under 40,000 uncleared levels left. Alright, we are doing the uh, oldest levels. Uh, there's three levels left from July 14th, and this is one of them. Ignore the fact that I've already played it. Uh... You saw nothing. Men in black. Blinding light thing. Whatever it is. Uh, I was examining this because it's a consistency level. I didn't know how horrid it was. I wanted to make sure, like... Can I beat this in a reasonable time, or is this going to eat me alive trying? Yes, secrets of the editing room floor. Um, sometimes I play these levels and then I just don't show them in the video at all. Because I'm like, well that's miserable or that's way too hard. Um, a lot of them I do go beat eventually, but I do it on my stream where I have much more time to play. Yeah, this is this is what this level is. Why is it lagging? I don't understand why it's lagging. Making this harder! I gotta figure out why it lagged. That was not good. Let me see if I can somehow cut down on the lag. I think it's the stars. I think that helped. No, it's still lagging. Dang it, man. That makes this so much worse. Look in the level viewer to see if I can collect those stars and then come back. Uh, if I do this, this might do it. I don't think so, actually. Yeah, it's still lagging. That sucks. That makes this a lot harder, because if it eats my jump input, I could die. <laughs> I don't know why the creator did that. Dude! Why does this lag have to exist, man? I can't do this. Not right now, man. Okay, I said I tested the level, um, when I tested it, I didn't get a coin, I, so I didn't realize it's gonna lag like that. That makes this so much harder, so we'll have to... I can't do this one in this video, unfortunately. Alright, all the levels from July 14th appear to be way too hard for this video. Um, probably multiple hours of grinding. Uh, that's, that consistency level, it's hard to tell how long it would take because, um, it's just whenever you get consistent, you know. So uh, instead, I'm going to do some of the harder ones from July 15th, 
which hopefully are more manageable. I guess we'll see. This first jump is not a good start. Wow, so... <laughs> it's not even guaranteed that you get it to line up. Mmm. Alright, I see now. That's so annoying that this wall's hard enough to clear, and if you do, it's not guaranteed that you make the next jump. That's kinda neat. Well, bomb ladders are tasks only. Okay. Whee! Uh, maybe I was supposed to kick the bomb one more time? I'm not sure. Yeah, okay. Did I just miss my ride, or...? heck was that, man? Just bounced me off the shelf for no reason. Is there a way to prevent that from happening? Oh, come on! I shell jumped too well. I hope I don't need to make that cycle, because if I do, then we're in trouble. Oh, I made the cycle. Oh my god. Not because I was going to miss the shell jump, because I almost didn't get enough height. <laughs> I overcorrected for that, uh... The first attempt, I threw the shell too high, so I made sure to jump earlier. Just jump too earlier. Cool! One out of seven, seven, seven. Now this guy does have one more uncleared level. An even lower clear rate. That's right. Zero is less than zero. Heard it here first. Oh my god. How do I want to approach that? Oh. Yeah, I definitely... <clears throat> I definitely need the cannonball to be... I need to hit it past that wall, essentially. Maybe I can triple jump there somehow? I don't really know. <laughs> I'm not seeing how you do this. Something like that, I guess. That's really, really tight. Okay, that's way easier. Do I have time to do that? Oh, 
I think I needed to act. Oh, well, shoot. I think I needed to activate that skull platform there. Oh! Okay, I need to jump there. We're making progress through it. <laughs> okay. Um, put the shell middle on, most likely. No, I have to... I'm supposed to throw the shell there, but it looked like the damage boost strat would have worked. You know, unless, I don't know, if the gold's blocked off or something. But it looked like that was going to just work. Yeah, that's severe cheese. <laughs> I don't really know what you're supposed to do there, but uh, yeah. That actually wasn't too bad. I thought it was crazy, but I was just doing the beginning an unintended way. One out of 1,206. And with that, De Martels has been defeated. No power up, no problem. If you think there's power up, too bad. Okay then. Uh, I got some comments like, what is he looking at when he looks off to the side? Very good question. That is my other monitor. When I look this way, I'm looking at my recording to be like, huh. Make sure everything looks how it should. No? Um, this. That's my third monitor. And usually I have somebody's Twitch stream pulled up because... Well, makes it more entertaining to make a video. Um, yeah, apparently I have Shoujo pulled up. She also raced at the GDQ race. We should check out her... Uh, Twitch stream and YouTube channel. I keep referencing this GDQ race a lot. Uh, I guess maybe you don't know or not aware, I don't know. Summer Games Done Quick, as well as Awesome Games Done Quick. A week long 24 7. Uh, charity speedrunning event to raise money. Uh, summer Games Done Quick, specifically the one I was at. I think I'm dead. Well, that's the end. Wow. Specifically, Summer Games Done Quick, the one I was at, raises money for Doctors Without Borders. Uh, this past one raised $2.2 .2 million, which is nuts, considering... The rampant inflation and the struggle of the economy, like, that people were still willing to give that much. Very generous. Anyway. Uh, we, as part of the speed running event, did a uh, Mario Maker 2 relay race, where it was two teams of four. My team was me, Orator, Panga, and Casper, and the other team was Lil Curbs, Shoujo, Tanuki Dan, and the Riley C. I will not say who won in case you want to go watch it. I have the race video uploaded on my channel, you can just go watch. I'd recommend it. Um, anyway, that's the GDQ race I keep talking about. The levels were really, really cool. If anything, just... Oh, God. Just watch it to see those levels. There. The creators did a fantastic job. I thought... Oh, my 
shortcut. I thought I was to the right of that. Alright, I almost hit that spike. That was actually quite an easy level, given how many attempts it had. Kind of wild. One out of 366. Alright, this creator does have a couple uh, uncleared levels. So let's check out Toke Me 10 Hours to Pass. Oh, I'm not dead. But for sure I was dead. Oh, I did die. For once, YOLO was actually the answer. This looks lovely. Yep. <laughs> Dude, this shell throw. Low battery, that's actually an issue. I left my... I left my USB-C cable at GDQ. I actually don't know how I ended up losing it, but, um... I ordered one from Amazon, and it's not here yet, so... <laughs> We're kind of on a timer, I guess. Okay! <clears throat> that was a decent little level. I didn't mind it, I guess. Not bad. One out of 455. Sword of Kaizo level. After the door jump on the bonsai bill, put the box below you, land in spike. Yes. Those are indeed English words. Um. Well, I'm gonna play until this controller dies. <laughs> I feel like I've uh, had a decent amount of content recorded here. I think a lot of time was spent on that consistency level, so that was a bit wasted, but... Okay, it's a little puzzly. <laughs> Jesus, I'm dead. No! Was not ready for that. Wow. Uh, um, I could just mid-air box jump there. I think I'm supposed to land on that spike, but it seems really tight. Huh? Oh my god! Uh, what the heck do I do here? Oh, the thing... The piranha... What are they called? Piranha Creeper? It wasn't loaded in. A little unfair. Yeah. Oh, this isn't good.
I needed to wait, and I didn't wait. At least there's a checkpoint. Oh my god, how? <laughs> Uh, it's not as tight as you might think to bounce off the piranha that in that fashion. Like, it's not pixel perfect, but it is pretty tight. It's not easy. <clears throat> One out of 99. And with that, uh, Lucky Life has been defeated. I will try Volcano Escape. Um, I would like to escape this volcano. It seems very dangerous. Oh shoot, the lava's gonna rise. That was unfortunate. Oh my god. Do I need this? Uh, yes. Hey. No, dude. I kind of just... I thought I was going to die to the bullet bill, so I just gave up. I should have... would have assumed I would make it, I mean... It's the worst that could have happened. I didn't make it. That was weird. The thwomp didn't activate. I thought I wasn't going to make it again. But what is this fine? Okay, yeah, Boom Boom fell in the lava. Oh, dude, where's the key? Oh, there it is. The key door, whatever. Okay. Oh, God, it's fouls. Scary boss up. Nice. <laughs> that was, uh, not bad at all. It's weird, some of the super highly attempted levels are, like, extremely hard, easy. And some of the low attempted ones are nuts. Uh, one out of 424. This guy does have one uncleared level left. I'll try it out. What is this? What is... <laughs> oh shoot, it's an auto level. No, it didn't line up! I thought it was an auto level. Come on. Guess I gotta control that jump. Uh, some people... I use a lot of lingo and I realize some people may not know what the heck I'm saying. A controlled jump just means you don't... 
Like, if I hold jump as long as I can, that's as high as I can jump. We call this a max jump, max height jump. A controlled jump, if you press the jump button less than that, you know, you don't jump quite as high. Uh, we call that a controlled jump. It's like, you control your height yourself. Technically, a max jump, you're controlling it as well, but I don't know. Just the term the community came up with, you know? I think I've made a mistake. I didn't get a checkpoint, did I? That was quite a rude section. All right, land on that guy. <laughs> this section is quite frustrating. I'm wondering if you actually oh. I'm wondering if you actually need this car. Okay, I would take damage there, but I have a mushroom. I did take damage there. Okay, well the car ain't making it out of that one. Uh, power up. Ow. Or up. Get it. Come on. Dude, just land. God, I hate this boss. Why... Why are you like this? No. Oh. <clears throat> if you're building a level and you decide you want to put the Owser in it, don't. Just. Abandon the idea. If you remember in actual 3D world, the Meowser boss fight, he's just chasing you through the level. You don't actually fight him at all. And it can be used decently that way. But forcing you to kill him like that is just... Ugh. It's just frustrating for the player. 1 out of 379. And with that... Yuto has been defeated. All right, that is where I'm going to wrap up this episode. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, we got a few cool levels, and uh, that consistency level, it's unfortunate it starts lagging. It makes it way harder. Um, maybe that was intentional. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. See you next time.